Hi friends, let's build a QA system which is based on both structured and unstructured data. When a user asks a question, the system should figure out if it should use structured data sources or unstructured data sources to answer the question. For example, let's say we have a SQL database with cities, countries, population data, etc. And then we have a vector store with the same cities information such as arts, culture, uh, etc. in the form of text. Now, if the user asks a question like, which city has the highest population, the system should figure out, I should use SQL database to answer this question. Whereas, if the user query is, tell me about arts and culture of Tokyo city, then it should use the vectors sources. Okay. So, this is the high level diagram. We have a SQL database and then we have a bunch of uh, documents. Uh, we create uh, a vector index. Uh, we can have one or multiple vector indices. And whenever a user asks a question, here we have the router. So the router will figure out if the answer to this question is based on the SQL database or these vector indices. Okay, so that's what we are going to build. All right, uh, we are using Llama index. So as I mentioned, we are going to have a vector store index as well as this SQL database. And for the unstructured data, we are going to scrape some data from Wikipedia. Okay, uh, so we have Wikipedia reader. Now uh, here I have a local database, a very simple database uh, with uh, city name, a country name and the population uh, of the city. Okay. All right. So I'm connecting to my local database uh, using SQL Alchemy. Uh, made connection to uh, Llama Index SQL database. And then uh, here we are creating the SQL query engine using this natural language a SQL table query engine. Okay, so all we are doing is simply providing our SQL database. Now, if we want, uh, we can select uh, tables. For example, we have a very large database with hundreds of tables. And we know the user questions, let's say we are building this system for a particular set of uh, maybe the customer uh, 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 facing uh, employees. So we might provide them only the customer related uh, 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 tables, right? Uh, so that uh, we don't uh, over limit uh, the context length, etc. All right. And then uh, we are going to build these vector indices. Now, uh, so these are the three cities, Toronto, Berlin and Tokyo. Here we extract the Wikipedia uh, documents. And then now, we can have just one vector store uh, to store all the information, which makes sense. But for the demo purpose, we are going to create three vector store, one for each city, so that we can see in the output which vector store uh, has been used. Okay, but for small data like this, it makes sense to have just one vector store. Whereas if you are building an enterprise level application where uh, again you might have financial data uh, some customer data uh, maybe some policies document product documents etc you might have a different vector store for different type of data all right so we extracted the document and then we are going to build three vector uh, indexes uh, that's why this is a list so we go over each wikipedia document for each city and then from which we are creating this vector store index, okay, using uh, from the documents, these Wikipedia documents. And then we are appending this vector store uh, to this vector indices list. All right, that's done. And then uh, similar to the SQL query engine, we are creating a vector query engine uh, for all three vector indices, okay. Now, the router, it's going to use tools to decide which data source to 
use to address the user query okay so we are going to convert or transform these query engines into what is called tools okay so we import this query engine tool so we are creating this sql tool which is simply based on the sql query engine uh, which we built here okay the sql query engine and this is the most important part the description is very important so here we are saying useful for translating a natural language query into a sql query over a table containing city uh, that containing the population uh, of country of each city okay so the query engine tool is going to rely on the descriptions we provide here to figure out which is the appropriate data source okay all right and similar to the sql tool here we are creating vector tools again for three vector engines we are creating three vector tools okay so going over each vector engine using query engine tool we are creating the corresponding vector tool and here we say useful for answering semantic questions about the city as you can see this is very important so for the first tool uh, the city would be toronto and then berlin and then tokyo okay so we have created four tools one for sql and three for vector uh, vector stores for the sql tool we have provided the explanation or the description and for the vector tools we explicitly stated which city information the tool contains okay so once we build these tools all we need to do is use this route query engine to route our query in the appropriate path okay all right so here uh, the llm single selector what it does is it make sure that it will go through a single path what i mean by that is we can have the hybrid scenarios uh, we will see uh, in later videos where we might be using the information both from multiple data sources which can include both the sql as well as the vector databases right there we will use these uh, llm multi selector but here we are using this llm single selector because we want to uh, our answer should be based on only one uh, tool right or one data source all right so we have the router query engine and then to this we are supplying uh, four tools so the first one is sql tool uh, because the remaining three are in the form of this uh, list so vectors tools uh, it's a list of three tools uh, we convert this into list so that we can add them so the query engine tools now contain all four tools okay all right so once we have the query engine uh, we can start asking the questions so for example let's ask a question which city has the highest population now this is all the information uh, while the query is being executed and the final response is this uh, final line okay the last line but let's see the most important information is uh, here it is so here it said selecting query engine zero okay so engine zero is sql tool engine one is toronto vector index engine two berlin engine three a tokyo a vector index right so it said i'm using query engine zero that means to answer this question the tool or the engine is using a sql store which makes sense right so we are asking which city has the highest population uh, from we can see tokyo has uh, close to 14 million population so it says tokyo has the highest population among the cities listed with a population of close to 14 million and then let's ask a, another question tell me about historical museums in berlin 
okay now obviously our sql database do not have such information so it's going to go for vector index and it should be going for uh, berlin so 0 1 2 it should be going for query engine 2 let's see okay so it's saying selected query engine number 2 which makes sense and here is our final response and the final question here we are asking which countries are each city from okay again this answer can be answered using our uh, sql database so ideally query engine 0 is selected which is right and then the response is toronto is from canada berlin is from germany tokyo is from japan okay it's very simple uh, we have connected to our database and then we have created a query engine and we created a tool out of the SQL query engine. And similarly, for our unstructured data or documents, we have created a vector indices. We transform those vector indices into tools. And then we have created a router query engine by supplying all the four tools we have built and the most important thing while building these tools is the description because that's what going to uh, be used by the router to decide uh, which tool to use okay that's it uh, super easy uh, thanks